Johnny Orlando posted his first video on YouTube at the age of eight. He now has over three million subscribers to his channel, and his first single, Let Go, has been watched more than 13 million times. He's even duetted with Mackenzie Ziegler. So get ready for Johnny Orlando. That's a hefty fact file there. Yeah. Three million subscribers. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. When you hit the first million, how did you feel? Oh, I was crying. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I remember. I was I was on tour and we were at a restaurant and I was like. Oh. <laughs> I'm not surprised. It's a, that so many supporters. Yeah, it was insane. How are you finding the summer social so far? It's amazing. There's so much to do here. It's so much fun. I'm having a great time. I mean, you, you've been in the UK and performed a couple of times, but yeah. this is your first UK festival. Yeah. You're going to get down and do If there was camping, would you camp? Um, in the tent? I, I don't know. No. I, I don't, no, no. I don't think no so. No is the answer. <laughs> <laughs> nah. um, all right, so people have been sending in loads of questions for you on the CBBC Buzz app. Uh, plenty of questions. Are you up for answering them? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so first up we have Summer Love, and here is her question. Hi, Saturday Mashup. My question for Johnny is, was it fun working with... Um, Mackenzie Ziegler. Bye. 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 <laughs> um, yeah, it was lots of fun. She's great to work with. She's one of my really close friends. So it's always better to work with somebody you know rather than just being alone in like the studio and writing stuff like that. And she's here this, uh, this weekend as well. Yeah, she's literally flying in today and then going on stage. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow, superstar. Uh, thank you so much to Summer Love. All right, we've got a next one from Buzzy CBBC fan. Here it is. My question is, who inspired you to be a singer and why? Oh, hmm. That's a good one. So, the person that probably inspired me was Justin Bieber. Uh, that's kind of generic, I guess. That was my, I covered Mistletoe right. as my first cover. Um, I used to love his music. Like, I listen to it all the time. Um, and he's just works super hard, so yeah. He is a Bieber. hard working guy. Mm -hmm. He is. Mini Beaver, perhaps. You yeah. might even be bigger than him in the future. <laughs> Hopefully. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Um, thank you to Buzzy CBC fan. Okay, next question is from Princess Becky. Do you have a pet? What is it? What is it? And what's its name? Thank you for listening. Bye. Aww. <laughs> I do. I have two dogs, um, Leo and Bentley, and they're both Maltese puppies. Oh, lovely, yeah. lovely. Okay, so uh, next question. Up yeah. for more? How about it? Queen CBC has got a question for you. Hi, CBC. What's your favourite food and why? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. They're You're all welcome. so polite. You're welcome. <laughs> um, my favourite food is probably sushi. I love sushi. I could eat it every day, every meal. You want to get sick of sushi no. every day? Every single day. Well, every here day. we have fish and chips. Have you tried fish and chips in the UK? I Not in the UK. I tried, I've tried it in my life. You have to get the but. real UK fish and chips. So we've got burgers here, everything. I everything. Burger. Yeah. Uh, maybe an American burger is different to an English burger. No. Oh, but no, it's not all right. It's just... It's oh, not. I, nah. It's better. <laughs> nah, it's not. Nah. Um, all right, so the next question is from Unipug123. What a great name. If you could work with any famous singer, who would it be? Bye. <laughs> See ya, bye. Um, if I could work with anybody, probably Drake. Right, yeah. Canadian, you know, Canadian. Um, and he's super cool. Great flow. Yeah. Great flow. Great flow. Do you, like, do you see yourself rapping in the future a bit like Drake? Ah, uh, no. No? Maybe a little bit. Maybe like, just like rhythmic things, yeah. but not like actual, like rapping. How about collaborating? Is it like more fun collaborating with people on music than being by yourself, I guess, a solo performer? It's, it's fun by yourself, um, but being with somebody, I guess, makes like, there really aren't that many dull moments, but it's just more fun, yeah, yeah. I guess. Yeah, okay, so we've got another question from, this is one of the best names, Purple Wizard Girl. Hmm. Hi, Johnny, hope you're okay. I was wondering, what has been your most favorite part about the festival so far? She doesn't look purple, but um, <laughs> uh, the most, my most favorite part of the festival probably being on stage. Yeah, seeing Liverpool, seeing all the fans. Yeah. How does it feel when everyone's singing your lyrics back to you? It's crazy because like it's something that I wrote, and then people are like screaming it back to me. It's it's just so wild um, how people like take the time to learn my songs and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Now you're going to be performing for us as well, and we're just making you work really hard today, Johnny. <laughs> what are you singing? 
Um, I will be singing What If, my new single with Mackenzie. There we go, a lovely. Now you're going to be accompanied by your, that's your sister, right, joining you on the stage? Uh, yeah, 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 she's going to be playing guitar. Oh, amazing. All right, so we can't wait to see that. You are sticking around and performing for us later and all across the weekend as well. We are so excited to have you here at the CBC Super Social. And thank you to everyone for your questions. Let's talk about all the things that we shouldn't talk about. Those kind of words that will change all the things we talk about. Tell me, do you ever think of us? Should I ask some more or should I stop? What if our tomorrow means that we are here together? What if we are taking chances just to lose it all? Am I really crazy thinking about this all together? Or have I been missing?